alcohol is dry. Relax, make sure to look away. All right, just ate something. Now I'm heading to Orange Theory, so let's go work out. I just finished Orange Theory. I don't think you can see how like sweaty I am, but it was a hard, hard class. So Orange Theory is a little bit of treadmill, a little bit of rowing, and some like strength training, like on the floor. They call it floor, but it's like strength training. It was really hard, actually. We had to do like a minute all out, jump off the treadmill. <laughs> All good. I'm glad I went. I burned 560 calories in the hour, so that's awesome. And now I'm gonna take a little break and get some food maybe. I have some food at home, but maybe I'll pick up something. I'll keep you posted, but it was a good workout and I'm glad I went. Super spicy and super filling, so we're gonna call it night and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. Hope you're feeling good today. It's still raining here. That's kind of odd because I live in the desert. Today, I am doing something that is gonna scare the bejesus out of me. Definitely keeping up with my goals for my last year, my 20s. I'm sure this probably isn't even a big deal to most people. Today, I am giving blood for the first time. Oh my God. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. And I know, I know, I'm 29 years old and I've never given blood before. I know. I know I'm lame. I'm not good with needles. I don't get a yearly flu shot. Anything to do with needles, I kind of stay away from. A little bit of a story time. I remember for this one trip we were taking, it was to South America, so I forget what the shot was. It was some kind of mandatory shot because of how we were traveling or where we are going. I went in to see the doctor doctor and he was like you know doing shots like one by one like you know in a rotation like you just went in there like there was like a line like two or three people I go in there and I start getting like really really hot I start to breathe heavy getting super super nervous the guy next to me was like are you okay it's just it's gonna be a quick shot and I was like yeah, I'm, I'm really freaking out. Like, I'm really scared of needles. So the guy next to me is like, oh, can I help you in any way? And I was like, honestly, can you just hold me down while this doctor gives me this shot? He was like, you want me to hold you down? And I was like, yeah, can you just hold me down? And then the doctor's gonna give me this shot. But he like bear hugged me. And then I looked away and the doctor like quickly gave me a shot. Like, this was like, five, six years ago, like I was still an adult, acting like a 10 year old child. So yeah, I am very, very scared of needles. I think that's a normal fear to have. So anyways, I'm doing that tonight after I work out. Oh, I love this song. But I would get to call you every time that I'm drinking. Okay, anyways, my first time getting my blood drawn, donating blood, I'm doing whole blood. Cause I'm hoping that that will be quicker. As soon as I'm like hooked up and it starts, like hopefully I feel better. I think the worst part for me is actually like poking me. That sounds super frightening. I do have someone who's gonna shoot for me because I don't think I'll be able to hold the camera while someone is sticking me with a needle. After I work out, I gotta work out. I told you four to five classes a week. That is what I'm doing. I'm really glad I'm doing this. There were a few things that happened last year that made me think in an emergency situation it would be good to donate blood and maybe somebody needs it. I don't even know my blood type. I don't even know that. It's gonna be good to know my blood type, but it doesn't matter. Like maybe someone will use it when they're in need in an emergency situation. And that makes me feel good to know that I'm like helping, you know, someone in need. And I just need to conquer my fear of needles so that I can actually be of service and help. I'm going to saddle up, be a big girl, and don't eat this god dang butt. I just hope I don't cry. I don't even like blood. I don't know, hopefully there's not other people next to me. Oh, if I smell, oh my God, if I smell blood, I'm gonna freak out. I'm gonna freak out. I need to put on my big girl panties and just donate blood, because that's a good thing to do. My mom's done it like 100 times. My sister's done it anyways. 
and you'll see me soon with the needle hooked up to me. We're gonna go in, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be able to shoot, but I'm here. Do the questionnaire, I'm gonna buck up and do it. I'm super, super nervous though. <laughs> First thing I'm gonna do is just make sure that I can find a suitable vein. Okay, so no needle yet. Do I have good veins? I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, some people go by look, I have to feel it. And I have to touch it. I have to get in there and see what direction it's going. I have to see how big it is. A lot of people say that the finger stick hurts worse than the actual needle stick. Oh, thank God. Yeah. That was painful. I'm trying to think about unicorns and rainbows. Okay. Should I look so, away now? No. No, I mean, not you yet. You can. Whatever makes you more comfortable, but we're all very aware of how uncomfortable you are. So when I tell you to look away, just look away. Okay. And then when I cover everything up, I will let you know when it's okay to look back. Okay. All right. Okay. Stop <laughs> crossing our legs. Sorry. I know it's uncomfortable and it's habit. Let's just strap them down. Yeah, no, that, that'll cost you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm already sweating. You're gonna be fine. It's just the fear of the unknown. Just breathe normally. <laughs> Seriously, you're gonna make yourself have a reaction. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Just remember to breathe normally. In and out. Okay, go ahead and start squeezing. Alcohol is dry. Relax. Make sure to look away. Oh Dark. God. Oh God. <laughs> oh. Okay. Hey Dark, can you get me some okay. tape? Yeah. You'll, okay. be, you'll be all right, babe. That's it. Hard part's uh, over. That's yeah. it. That's all there is. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of painful to be honest. I'm not gonna see it. No. Um, no, I have the needle completely covered. So like five minutes? <laughs> Usually between five and 15. You know what, I feel better now. Do you? Now that it's over? You did really wonderful, to be honest. Oh, awesome, thank you. I don't mean to say be honest, like, I meant like you did wonderful, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Hey, you know what, anytime I can successfully stick that needle in your arm, that's what I'm all about. <laughs> that's it. Okay. Just keep your arm in that position, okay? You won't be able to see anything, I'm gonna block everything. Done. Oh, really? Yep. I was waiting for it. <laughs> I was like, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Get ready. I, I guess I thought it'd be a pinch like the needle. Right. Go ahead and apply pressure right over the top of that hole. Okay, I'm not gonna look at it though. Straight up in the air. Yeah? Yeah. Please leave the wrap on your arm for four hours. Right. No heavy lifting or strenuous exercise for the rest of the evening. Amen. Plenty of non-alcoholic fluids for the rest of the evening. No alcohol. No alcohol. Copy that. Make your next meal a hearty one. Thank you. Anytime. Awesome. Anytime. Go, girl, you're here right now. I did it! So I just donated some blood for the first time. And now I have to sit and eat the snack. It was really scary at first. As like she was preparing me, like she put a blanket on me. As she was like setting up, I got kind of like emotional and scared. Like I was about to cry, but I didn't cry, which is good. She told me if I would have started like crying, that she would have done it. The best way that I can explain it is that it feels like, and she said this is all in my head, but to me it felt like a body relaxer that was like too powerful. So I felt it from my like head to my toes. You could definitely feel like something was going on with my arm. After like five seconds of the needle being in, I was a lot better. I could calm down, it didn't hurt so much. I'm really happy that I did it. I conquered a fear. I've never done this 28 years old. I'm super proud of myself. I conquered a fear of needles that I had. And she said that my donation today like saved three lives. That could actually make me cry. Like that makes me feel good. I hope that maybe this gives you like the power to go get blood. It's such a good thing to do. She said that I should eat some junk food. So I'm gonna go do that and call it a night. I hope this was interesting and fun to watch and inspiring. I'll see you for the next one.